also in Volusia County, we've learned a man known for being a homeless advocate is facing multiple charges tonight. Yeah, that's because investigators say this guy, Michael Pastore, spray painted a public sidewalk. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn has more on what the message said and what Pastore had to say about it. We caught up with Mike Pastore as he was bonding out of jail and asked him why he vandalized county property. I'm so upset about the treatment of the homeless in Daytona Beach that I decided to do some civil disobedience. The 62-year-old homeless advocate says he got the idea on Christmas Day. I just didn't feel right making merry when my when our cause the sheltering the homeless is not even being talked about and says he gathered the materials then spray painted shelter the homeless outside the county building along with painting over city ordinance signs. It said no trespassing, uh, no trespassing for rental use only. You can't take public property and, and reserve it for somebody and then keep everybody else out of it even while it's not being used. While the washable spray paint is now cleaned up, some folks have mixed emotions about Pastore's actions. I don't ever justify acts of violence or vandalism or things of that nature, but obviously this is the way he felt was best to protest. We do the best we can with what we got. Ralph Baker is homeless and was part of the group last year who camped outside the same building Pastore just vandalized. And I do believe in his heart. If he was trying to help the homeless people, I do believe he's a good man. Daytona Beach police arrested Pastore on Tuesday after catching him on surveillance video. Pastore says if his latest stint didn't wake up the city, he's ready for plan B. If we can get a judge to say that the safe zone is legally insufficient to stop them from enforcing the camping ordinance, then I'll, I'll, put, up, I'll put up tents at City Hall. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Korn, News 6. Now, we called the city of Daytona Beach for comment on Pastore's arrest, but we haven't heard back from them.